Good morning and welcome to a home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> we are going to be doing some work around the house today. Got some furniture to assemble. But also, this camera has been giving us a little bit of issues where, I don't know, you guys can probably hear it right now. But the autofocus motor is super loud. And that's like, that's that noise that you hear that sort of sounds like, like a, an old hard drive on a computer doing this like clicking, whirring noise. And so I've been looking at new cameras and looking at new cameras and I haven't found one that's as small as this one. This is the G7X Mark II yet. So I had to go with a little bit bigger camera. So today we're going to be testing out the M5. This is another Canon. It's a little mirrorless, a little interchangeable lens. So it is a little bit bigger than the G7X, but hopefully the quality will be a little bit better. The audio will be better and hopefully it won't have as many focusing issues as the G7X has. So let's transfer over to that right now and give it a try. Real quick, before we switch over, I did want to let you guys know that if you are the type of vlogger that uses like a little stick at the bottom or a gorilla pod, this camera might not be so good because the screen flips down for selfie mode. So the gorilla pod or any tripod or any sort of handle you put on the bottom would be in the way of the screen at that point. I don't use a handle, so hopefully it won't be an issue for me, but the whole reason it flips down is because this one has a viewfinder up top, and that is something that I was looking for because that means that I can turn off the screen in dark rides and make it so it's not bright and annoying to other people. So Canon does have another camera that is very similar to this that doesn't have the viewfinder and the screen flips out that you could use a uh, Gorilla Pods or like a tripod or a handle on. I just like this one a little bit better because it has the viewfinder and I can use the viewfinder to turn off this screen so it doesn't get annoying to other people. All right, so now let's switch over to the new M5 and give it a try. What do you guys think so far? Quality should be just slightly better. Hopefully the audio is better. We've got a little Rode video micro on the top. It's kind of a little bit awkward now holding it in my hand, but I know that that's just a, like a getting used to it type of thing. Every camera that I've ever started that's a new camera, I have to kind of figure out where my hand goes on it before I'm getting like really good at moving around with it. So. Let's go put together some shelving for the bathroom and give this camera a try. So this is the first cabinet that we're gonna to try to put together. It's just a little cabinet for next to the toilet. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to put together. It kind of looks like it's just a couple of screws everywhere. Let's do it. I like the color of this. I did not expect it to be that color. I thought it was gonna be darker than that based on what the picture looked like over here. Well, it started out a little bit confusing because this shelf is different than all the rest and the instructions are just pictures. Like this is worse than Ikea. Well, there it is. There's the final product. That looks pretty good. I do have to try to figure out some adjustments on the door because if you can see here, that line right there is not level. And I think it all has to do with the way that I'm racking it. So I need to put it in place where it goes and then tighten down the screws. Hopefully that'll fix it. After I made that other one, I made the slightly harder to make white cabinet here. This one took a little bit more time. A lot more pieces to it, that's for darn sure. And there they are, two new cabinets right next to each other. Well, now that we're all done building some cabinets for the bathroom, I say it's time to watch Mad Men. We deserve it. You and me, we've been working hard. It's actually, actually a few days later. Today is the day that they are installing the closet system. So it's exciting, they're on their way in right now. I'll try to show you guys some updates as the day goes on. And thus it begins. They've started loading in material. Everything's out of the closet. Pretty soon they're gonna start taking out all the shelves and baseboard and start putting stuff in. So I know that some of you guys were interested in seeing the tattoos now that they're almost all the way healed. As you guys can see on Pua's eye, there's some like leftover healing that has to be done and a little bit down on his hoof area. And then just a little bit down in Hey Hey's body and they're still all super shiny from being <laughs> Like this is all new skin down here because that's the way the tattoos are. Yeah, I think they turned out really good. I'll keep showing you guys as they get less and less shiny. They look awesome, almost all the way healed. So the installers just took a break for lunch and this is what they've done so far. They took everything out from the walls and then they've put all the material inside. And then when they get back from lunch, it's gonna go quick once they get back from lunch, I think. So here's the issue with like testing out new cameras is that you have to test them, really. <laughs> like you do a lot of research and you try to find the best camera, but then there are like little things about each camera that you get that's kind of annoying. Like this one, if I go into low light, it has really good focus right now, but if I go into low light, the focus just kind of like 
disappears. Like it has, does not have a good time going into low light, which is kind of a big part of what we do. And so I've been thinking about switching over to, this is the M5, switching over to the M50, which is maybe better in low light, definitely better autofocus. And it's also a little bit cheaper, but there were some like issues with it as far as it doesn't have as good of stabilization as this camera does. The whole thing that I'm trying to do is trying to stay away from switching over to the A6400 Sony because that's very expensive. And if I drop it in the theme park, that's a very expensive drop. Whereas this one, it's still expensive, but not, you know, $1,200 expensive. All things to think about when trying to pick a new camera. And there it is, the end of day one. I know that there's some like lines here in the screen, that's from the LED lights up here. But yeah, look at this. Those are gonna be our hampers down there before we put our dirty clothes. Those will be drawers. This will be shelving. This will be some more hangers. It's a long hang. There's gonna be a mirror over here. All kinds of fun stuff. More shelves, more drawers. And then all of this back here is all hanging. Should be interesting. So, uh, not only did we have the closet going in, but also our AC broke and it's a thousand degrees in Florida. Good times. So the AC guy was out here all day. He got it temporarily fixed, but I think we have to replace them all, like the entire air conditioner, because it's old. Apparently air conditioners are supposed to only last 10 to 12 years and this one's like 14, 15 years old. So, yay. <laughs> Good times. So all that to say, uh, that's why we didn't have a video up yesterday because we were dealing with the AC guy, the closet guy. So sorry about that, but here's your video for today. All right, so I've decided it. I'm gonna go get the M50 going right now, taking this one back. We're gonna try a different camera. So the next clip you see will be on a different camera. It'll probably look exactly the same and nobody will notice any difference, but I'll know. All right, we're testing out the new camera. Giving it a try, this is the M50. Has a better autofocus than the M5. Can shoot in 4K, but we're not ever gonna use the 4K on here because it does some things that we don't really like about the camera. It'll change the autofocus settings and uh, crop in real funny. And it, we're, we're not gonna do 4K on this camera. But all in all, I feel like it's kind of good. The lighting in here is not the best. It's kind of yellowy. And uh, I think it's doing okay. And the screen goes out to the side so I can put a tripod on this one. And I think I'm going to so that I have something to hold on to. Although this isn't so bad. I used to hold the, oh no, I'm pushing buttons. I used to hold the uh, G7X like this. So that's pretty good actually, it feels good. I don't know. I like the camera so far. I don't think it does as good as the G7X in low light still, but a lot of other things are better about it than the G7X. I don't know. Mainly the focus. It's kind of funny because this is like my thing. I really enjoy camera technology. Although it is a kind of aggravating having to go through and like test out this camera and test out this camera and then test out this camera. It's only aggravating when the camera that you're testing out doesn't do what you think it's gonna do. It's really nice when it shows up and it's like, yeah, it's doing what I thought it was gonna do. So, so far this one is very, very close to doing what I thought it would do. Check this out. So this is the bathroom downstairs and this is where I've been testing the low light on all of the cameras and lenses. There it goes. It does have a hard time once you get into low light like this. And I don't understand why. It's really not that dark. Man, that stinks because I was hoping that it would actually work out. And I think it still will, it's just like that happens. And thus draws to a close the first half of the video or we started the closet install. Now we're gonna go to bed and then tomorrow they're gonna come and finish it. So, I, I mean the video will continue but I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. He can't really see it. <laughs> I think he smells it though. Beans, that's my shoe. Open it, I'm behind you. Oh, Bye. Bye. Home <laughs> vlog. I feel weird because the closet guys are here and I don't want them to hear us. Oh yeah. They're gonna think we're like weirdos. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, here's our lunchtime progress update. Yes, look at this. It's very closety. It's getting there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, they don't have the handles down there. This is fun and exciting. 
Yeah. And then this for your pants. Mm -hmm. My pants and your pants. Everybody's pants. So many pants. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, trousers, I guess. Oh, look, there's me. Hello. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if you step back here, like this, <laughs> then you can actually see this is what I'm wearing today. Oh. Hello. Got your cool shirt on. Yeah. What's that? That's the thing you thought was the coolest? Yeah, I've never had like a, I never thought I would have a, a jewelry like drawer. Yeah. I don't have this much jewelry, but still pretty cool. Yeah. All right. You guys ready? Ooh. <laughs> ah. The closet actually like takes up a lot of the space, like the, the organizational pieces. But I feel like we have more room. Oh yeah. Sounds weird. Oh, this? So yeah, they they actually are not done yet. Do you see this? They said that's a manufacturer defect, so they're gonna have somebody come out and replace it. It's just the face of the drawer though, right? Yeah. So they'll just give us a new drawer? Yeah. Probably just a new face. Gotcha. Well, that's not even really that big of a deal. So what do you think? Um, I like it a lot. And even if it's too dark in there? Yeah. Now it's real bright. <laughs> I like the yellow lights better though. Yeah. It just feels nicer. I'm excited to like put our stuff in. Now we have to like Marie Kondo this uh, closet. Oh okay. yeah. Oh man. So we've been watching a lot of Mad Men and I like the show, mm -hmm. but it is kind of aggravating. There's so many things that happen and I understand it's a drama. Right. But there's so many things that happen in it that I'm like, ah, Why? don't do that. Like, I think as a woman watching the show, it's very frustrating. Yeah. Because they're, it's like a super sexist show. Well, it was the 60s. Yeah. Like, not to make an excuse for the 60s, but it was the 60s. No, I, I understand that it was just like how people acted back then. Yeah. But it's very... Because you see a lot of that in today's times. Yeah. Still. Right. Which is frustrating. Right. I don't know. But I, I think that... I don't know. It's a good show. Yeah. Yeah. But now we're trying to find something to eat. You ever have this issue where you're like, let's get something to eat. And then you go through all of the options nearby. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I don't want any of that. Well, I feel like we're just today is kind of like a blah kind of a day. Yeah. It's things when there's like something that's going on in your house and you're like stuck there. Yeah. It's like meeting the cable guy. Well, but I mean, we got every like it was for a good reason. Oh, like, yeah. The closet is wonderful and I'm very happy about it. But... It does stink to be stuck in the house. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to find something to eat. Yeah. We decided to go with some Japanese. And I always, whenever we order Uber Eats, I feel like we live in New York City or something like that. <laughs> because I'm like, we got so much food, too. <laughs> yeah, this is way too much food. This will be leftovers for like two days. But they did, the weird thing, though, was they gave me white sauce with the crab rangoon. So I'm using Panda Express sauce that we had in the oh, fridge. Yeah. I got pork katsu, mm. and Jen got vegetable hibachi. Yeah, I've been like craving vegetables. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So how was your food? Well, it was really delicious. It was it a was, lot of food. It was so much. I, there are leftovers, so we're going to have like lunch and stuff. But So this is something that um, I was going to tell you guys that I was kind of like, I don't know, excited to share with you guys. But So I had my first dream about the baby's sex. Oh. Where I like, uh, some of you guys left comments saying like, oh, you'll start having weird dreams where you like find out the gender of the baby. And uh, I dreamt that we were having a girl. And then I came in in the morning and said, hello, little girl, to your belly. Oh, yeah, you did. That's right. And I yeah. was like, oh, my gosh, how did you know that I had the dream? Right? Yeah, it was such a weird dream because it was just, it wasn't scary. It wasn't because I've been having a lot of like weird, scary dreams. But this was just literally that we had the baby, it was born, and it was a girl. Yeah. It was just like a normal... I don't know. Do, do you guys have like a premonition type thing? Because like I just have this premonition like we're having a girl. I feel like... I don't know. I still kind of feel like we're going to have a boy. I feel like we're going to have a girl. Do you? Yeah. I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. I mean, we'll I guess out. we'll see in a couple of weeks, but... Yeah. I don't know. I thought that was kind of strange, so I wanted to share it with you guys because it was the first time that I dreamt... Because I have dreamt about having the baby, but I couldn't, it didn't have a gender. Like, I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. It was just a baby. Right. 
actually. In one of the dreams, it was in, like an alien. Yeah, it was super weird. <laughs> well, but, there you go. Uh, but yeah, so um, so yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys that. Also, we are. What are we in our fourteenth week? Yeah, I think Sunday started our fourteenth week. We're in the second trimester. Yeah, we're officially in the second trimester. Yeah. Which is exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little quick update after dinner, but the dinner was delicious. Oh okay. yeah. So we just kind of ended out the night watching Mad Men and digesting our food and... We watched way too much Mad Men. We I think that's the issue is like you get drawn into a show. Well, I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know how many of you guys have been around for like a really long time, but back when we watched Breaking Bad... Oh yeah. That's kind of how I feel like right now. We we just got like so sucked into Breaking Bad that we just kept watching it. We like had to finish the series. Yeah. Because it was it was when the series finale was coming up on like regular TV. Yeah. And so we were like trying to get all caught up so we could watch it live on regular TV. Right. And I feel like that's what we're doing with Mad Men, even though it's been over for years. Right? But it's really good. Yeah. Another I like one, it. Well, and another one that um, I've been reading a lot about is Chernobyl. We're going to have to get on that one next. Have you guys watched it? I know it's pretty like, uh, it's not a horror. I mean, it was a real event, but like a lot of people are calling it like a horror because it's very realistic. Okay. That sounds yeah. scary. Well, but I've been reading about it. There was like this whole post online about, it was like they would show the actual clips. Oh, okay. And then they would show the clips from the show. Gotcha. To kind of show like how they recreated certain things. Wow. And it looks really terrifying. Yeah. Like well, the, it was definitely terrifying. Right. But I think that'll be the next thing we watch. And I think that's like a five episode, like it's a mini series. Oh, okay. Yeah. We can watch that pretty quick. Yeah. And then Handmaid's Tale is coming back soon. Yeah, and I didn't realize how many people were on Mad Men that were that are in Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. So that's been kind of interesting too. Yeah. So now it's time to head to bed. Yeah. Uh, back to the normal grind again tomorrow. Yeah, and hopefully no more air conditioning issues. Right. And none of that. It's so hot out, you guys. It really is. We just blocked Bandit, and it was like... It's at... literally 11 o'clock right now, and it is 81 degrees outside. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe that. It's very hot. So, yay. Yeah. So I'm glad the air conditioning is working, at least for a little bit. We have to replace the entire thing, but temporarily fixed for right now. Yeah, but we'll be, so, good. We'll be cool for a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool for the summer. Oh, don't tell your mother. <laughs> no, tell her. Tell her we got our air conditioning fixed. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so there you have it. Yeah. That was our home vlog. Home vlog. Now home we vlog. can do it because the guys are gone. Home, home vlog. vlog. <laughs> so with that being said, we are off. And we will see you guys tomorrow. My name is Salem. And my name is Andrew. And we're from Ottawa, Canada. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>